For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so in order to determine whether y is a function of x, the first thing is we have to make sure that this equation is solved for y. All right, that's the first step here that we have on the bottom left. So fortunately, it is already, right? So it's already solved. So I'm just going to rewrite it. So it's y is equal to 1 over x. That's great. All right, the second step says now that we can graph this function. All right. Now, it's easiest if you can just throw it into the calculator. All right. So if you throw that function, excuse me, well, I don't know if it's a function yet, but I'm, I'm foreshadowing what it is. Um, if we throw this equation on into the calculator, we'll get a graph that probably looks similar to something like this. I'll try to draw it as best I can. Something like that. Okay. So that looks uh, uh, close enough, right? And these graphs will then continue on in each particular direction. Okay, indefinitely. So now that we have the graph drawn, what we now need to do is we now need to conduct the vertical line test. All right, so let me just bring this graph, we'll copy and paste it now on over here. And now we're gonna conduct that vertical line test. And the vertical line test says that if a vertical line intersects the graph only once, then the graph is indeed a function. All right, so I'm gonna pick a couple of vertical lines. So I choose a vertical line here, it only intersects it at one point. So that's good, it passes the test. Here, it again passes the test, right? Here, passes the test, starting to become a curved vertical line. <laughs> here, it also passed the test, that's supposed to be a circle, what are you gonna do? And now, uh, the one that might give people the most trouble is, let's say I draw a vertical line down the y-axis, okay? The graph never actually gets to this value of x being zero. Well, why is that the case? Because look, x is in the denominator, right? If x is zero, this whole function is undefined, or this whole equation, I should say, is undefined, all right? Now, that doesn't matter in terms of determining whether it's a function or not, because the rule says, the vertical line says that if this vertical line I drew intersects the graph only once, or not more than once, right, another way to say it, then the graph is a function. So this, that vertical line that I just had, right, does not intersect the graph more than once. It doesn't even intersect it at all. And that's okay, right? That still makes it a function, okay? So that being the case, this is indeed a function, all right? So it doesn't matter where I draw that vertical line. I draw one more over here. It only intersected it once. This vertical line really doesn't even mean anything in terms of determining whether it is a function or not, all right, because it doesn't intersect it at all. So that's, we, we can basically disregard that line, all right? Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.